Hey everybody, um, so this is going to talk about how to uh, use filters in Google Spreadsheets because, um, well, let's take a look at this spreadsheet, okay? There's, uh, there's a lot of cool stuff going on here, um, but oh, there's some gaps, there's some, there's some weird things going on. So first thing I want to do uh, is, first of all, this is the class data sheet, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy. That way I can play with... Um, the data without messing it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name it my last name and my partner's last name. I don't know. My wife's maiden name was Vigilante. So I'll do that. And I'm going to call it wind data. Okay. Um, let's see. Yep. Wind data. All underscores. So I'm going to hit OK. And now I've got my new data. Just to keep myself from uh, messing it up, I'm going to go back to the class data sheet and close it. So now I'm only working with my data sheet, so I don't mess anybody up. All right, so I'm going to assume that you have already done a uh, spreadsheet, or sorry, a scatter plot of the number of blades versus output, and another one about the degrees pitch versus output. And again, that's good stuff, but sometimes you want to isolate certain variables. Uh, because if you do, let's say, the number of blades Okay, um, or let's say you change the pitch, like this first group did. You change the pitch, but that's with four blades being the same. So what about if it's just eight blades? Maybe there's a better pitch for that. So let me explain what I'm trying to say here. Okay, first of all, what we can do is look at filtering this information. Okay, that's the first bit. Okay, so let's do the following. Let's highlight all of the columns and then hit this little filter button and you see there's a little arrow a little drop down menu on the top so what we could do what I like to do first is I like to sort it by group number which gets it all one two three four five six seven it gets them all in group number order and then I sort it by the period whoops I meant to say a to Z for the period. So this is period one. One group is put in their data. Period three, we've got group number five, uh, group number eight. And so we, we do have a good bit of data. Oh, hey, there's some data that's missing. Since I'm working on my own data, I can delete that. See, I will delete those because I don't need them. Let's see. Oh, these people added the degree sign which you don't want to do because otherwise uh, Google Spreadsheets will not accept it as a number. You don't want labels. You don't want units in here. Normally I'm a stickler for units, but you don't want it in there. Same thing for these guys. So you got to go in and change that. And if you're super cool, you'll go in and change it on the class data sheet for everyone so that uh, no one's left out. But okay. Um, I think we can use all this data. So let's see. Let's organize this from pitch, okay? And let's go A to Z in pitch. And what we see is that there are a lot of zero trials. There are a lot of five trials, 10 trials, 15, 20, 25, 30. So let's say I want to know what the best number of blades is, assuming you have a 15 degree pitch, okay? using a 15 degree pitch. So, what I now know, because I organized it by pitch, by hitting A to Z, okay, is that these sets of data are using 15 degrees pitch. Okay? These are from different groups. You've got a group 7, a group 8, a group 1, a group 2. They all have a 15 degree pitch, but they have different number of blades. Okay, so I'm going to use just this data, and just for my own sake, I might just highlight these um, just to help me out. And I'll double check, make sure there's no other 15 degree pitches anywhere, and it certainly doesn't look like it. So I'm going to go back up, oh, find my orange. Now, here's what we do. We insert a chart, and yeah, that looks really weird, right? So here's what we do. We go back to the data range, okay, and let's delete this. And we want to do, wait, we want to do the number of blades 
and how the number of blades affects the output, right? And we're going to hit OK. And we know that we want it as a scatter plot. So I went to the charts, scatter, scatter plot. And there's my scatter plot right there. Um, now I got to do the customization. I've got to do, okay, chart title. This is key. This is, um, let's see, what effect does the number of blades have on output voltage using 15 degrees, that's option K for degrees, using 15 degree pitch. That's a good title. You have the independent variable, the dependent variable, and what the constant was, but you don't have verses. Don't use verses. That's just redundant because the left axis and the horizontal axis say that already. Okay? All right, so then I'm going to go down to my axis, horizontal axis. That should be a number of blades. Switch that to left vertical, and that is voltage output. Whoops. And again, you can change a whole bunch of settings and all that. But there we go. Now I've got a scatter plot for that. So here's what I'll do. I will click on this, and I'm going to make it a, its own sheet. This way it's a little easier to work with it. And I'm going to rename that, let's see, how about blades the um, voltage. And I'm going to say 15 degrees. Okay, That way I know what it is when I'm looking at it. Now, in this case, I don't know. Do you see a lot of correlation there? I'm not so sure. I don't really see one. But you can see that the ones that had four blades, in this case, were on average higher than the ones down here with three blades. So maybe using 15 degree pitch, 14 blades is better. I don't know. That's going to be up to you to decide. It's actually not that much higher, I don't think, than six blades here. You'll have to figure that out by yourself. So what you have is you have your first sheet, which I would like to rename data. And what you're doing is you're making these scatter plots based on blades versus voltage and having an isolated pitch or an isolated number of blades. Let me show you another example in case you're still confused. So let's say, um, let's say I want to see what is the effect of the pitch on voltage, but only when we're using four blades, okay? Since the blades is what I'm going to keep constant, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort them A to Z, and I said I want to use four blades. So let's see. Ah, that's where the four blades starts. Scroll down. Science is cool, science is awesome, I love spreadsheets. Ah, there it goes. And just for me again, I'm going to highlight. The highlight isn't permanent, I just want to use it. Okay? So, I have various pitches here. Notice from 50, 40, 35, 30, 15, 5, 0. That's a lot of data to use. So I'm going to insert another chart. Okay, wow, that looks crazy. But that's okay. All right. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit data range, and I want, let's see, the x, what's the independent variable here? Oh, that's the pitch, right? So I'm seeing the pitch versus the voltage, so I'm going to scroll down, okay? And I'm going to add another range, and what might be easier is I'm just going to copy that, paste it here, but I want that data to be from voltage, so that should be F70 to F133, well, it looks like there's some missing data there. I don't think that's going to mess it up. Let's see. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's right, because we didn't make it a scatter plot yet. Charts, scatter, scatter, and you've got a scatter plot. Okay. Uh, customize. Now, again, I need chart title. Remember, I was keeping the number of blades constant, so I want to say um, you know, how does uh, the pitch 
of the blade affect um, is it volt output voltage? Uh, using a 15 option K okay, degree. I'm oh, sorry. Um, oh, sorry. Using four blades. Long day. Using four blades only. Okay. And then I'll scroll down and I'll change my horizontal axis. Remember that's the uh, degree pitch. Option K. Degree pitch. My vertical is the output voltage and insert the graph Oops. uh oh did I hit cancel? I might have hit cancel yeah I think I hit cancel so let me do this real quick again just to show you uh, and we've got that and then paste we've got F and F, hit OK, chart, scatter, scatter, there we go. And just, I already showed you what the title should be, so I'll, I'll skip that. Insert, okay, and there you go. You've got a chart, and what you can pretty clearly see, there's a pretty negative correlation for the most part as you go down. The tricky part is this middle part here, but with uh, what do we say? Four um, blades. Looks like the steeper your um, pitch, the weaker your output. Is there a peak somewhere? You got to figure that out. That's what you got to say. Okay. And again, so I'm not messing up my data. I'm doing move to own sheet. And in this case, I would rename it. Uh, let's see. What do we say? Pitch versus voltage. And that's with four blades. There we go. That's how you do a filtered data set uh, with Google Spreadsheets. It's actually quite easy. Um, just remember what you're doing is you're highlighting and hitting the filter button. And I just turned it off so I can just turn it right back on. That allows me to filter and keep all the data the same. Um, and that's really about it. If you have any questions, uh, see me in class. I hope this helps, and I look forward to seeing all of your presentations.